So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. This week we are going to take a look at the scatter plot in Excel and I'm going to give you two examples on how to use a scatter plot in Excel. Don't forget to like my video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Please enjoy. Well this video is all about the scatter plot in Excel and in this video I'm going to show you two examples on how to use a scatter plot. And first of all, let me explain to you what a scatter plot is. You see a scatter plot in here. It's basically two axes, an x axis and a y axis, and in each chart are little dots. And a scatter plot is basically uh, used to show a relationship between two variables. So in this example, I have a temperature in here and the ice cream sales in the other column. And basically, these are two variables. Well, you cannot plot this in a simple line chart. Well, you can imagine the temperature is not sorted and it can be that there is a temperature that occurs multiple times in my measurement. So in that case, you need to plot that in a scatter plot. And you can see every dot represents one measurement. I measured a temperature of 39 and a ice cream sales of 31,590. So every measurement is placed as a dot in my chart. And the way the dots are in your chart, you can show a relationship between the temperature and the ice cream sales. Another example I have in here, this is basically a normal bar chart with some data labels. But I placed an apple for the apple sales on the bottom of each bar. And for that I also used a scatter plot and I'm going to show you how to do that. I have my tables on another sheet and we are going to create these scatter plots. Well, a basic scatter plot is actually very simple to make. Just select your data, including the headers, go to your insert top on the ribbon, go to your chart section and select insert scatter. You select your scatter chart and it is inserted. Well, you see it placed the dollar values on the vertical axis and the temperature on the horizontal axis. I want to change that. I can right click in my chart, click to select data, click the ice cream sales and click edit. And here you see you need to enter X value and a Y value, the horizontal and the vertical value. This is other than when you insert a line chart. In a line chart you only insert one list of values. And to show a relationship between two variables, you can enter an X value and a Y value in the scatter plot. So I want column D, the dollar values on the horizontal X axis. And I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to select the column D with the dollar values. The Y values will be the temperature. So that's column C. Just click OK. Another time OK. And you see, I have my scatter plot. I can format my chart a little bit more. I can give my chart a title like temperature versus ice cream sales. I can format that title, go to your home tab, dark green, a little bit bigger and bold. Also for my axis, I want it dark green, bigger and bold. The other axis also. And you see I have a nice chart. I see the values on the horizontal x-axis have all three decimals and I want to change that. You can just click the axis in your chart, press Ctrl 1 and if you have difficulties to select your axis or another part of your chart, you can just select something in your chart, press Ctrl 1 and by this menu you can select other parts of your chart. I have my horizontal axis. I'm going down to the number area. I want to say this is a currency and I want only two decimals. Press enter. You can close this window and now you see there are two decimals. I can remove the outline of my chart by selecting my chart. Press Ctrl 1 again. Go to my border menu and I say no line. You see there's no line around my chart. In my example, I'm going to show you, you saw nice green dots and I'm going to show you how to insert them. You can just insert a shape, which is round. I can draw it in here, go to my shape format on my ribbon. I can 
type the height as 0.25 and also the width as 0.25. I can press console one to format my shape. I want no fill and I want a solid dark green line of two points. Close this window and you see I made my dot. I can select it. I can press console C to copy it. I can click one of the dots in my chart to select them. Press console V to paste. And you see I pasted my nice dots in my chart. So that's the way you can create this nice scatter plot. There's also another example of the scatter plot I want to show you, and that's a combination of a scatter plot with a bar chart. I have a table in here with months and apple sales, and I want to insert a bar chart first. So select your data, go to your insert tab, go to your bar charts, and just insert a clustered column chart, place it in here, and we are going to adjust this chart a little bit. We're going to format it. The apple sales is the title. I'm going to make this dark green a little bit bigger and bold. My vertical axis also dark green, bigger and bold, and my horizontal axis the same. Well, I can change the bars in my bar just by clicking it, press console one, and on the series options menu, I want to reduce the gap width to around 70%. So I got much thicker bars. So I'm going to go to my fill in line, and I want a solid fill of a light green color. And my border is a solid line of a dark green color. And I want to have this one and a half point. Close this window. I'm going to add data labels. So just click the bars, go to my plus sign, go to the data labels. So we can format our data labels. Just click it to select it, press console one, and we want to place them inside and. Just close this window. I want them bold. A little bit bigger and I want them dark green. Well the only thing we need to do is place the apples and for that we are going to use the scatter plot. I'm gonna right click in my chart, go to select data, I'm gonna add another data series. The series name is scatter and my series values are these. Press OK. Press OK. And now again right click in your chart and go to change chart type. I want a combo. My apple sales is a clustered column, that's right, but my scatter needs to be a scatter plot. So select it, press OK. So you already see some dots in my chart. And we can right click in our chart, go to select data, you see your scatter plot, click edit, and now you see it needs an X and a Y value because we changed it to a scatter plot. And for the y values, I'm going to take these values. And the x values, I'm going to take these values. Press OK, press OK, and you see the dots in my chart. This one is just a 1, 2, 3, 4 for the 1, 2, 3, and 4th bar. The scatter y is I made a function, a formula, 0 0.2 times the maximum value of the apple sales. That's to place them on a height where the apple is seen always on the bottom. So you can change this after I can show you how. Now we need to place the apple in our chart instead of the dots. And I can show you how you can do that. Just go to your insert tab, click icons, just search for apple, click it, click insert, and I have an apple. I can make this a bit smaller. And as you can select the apple, press console one, and I can format my graphic. I can say I want a solid line, which is dark green. I want a little bit thicker line. Just close my window. Well, while you have selected the apple, you can just press Ctrl C and just as in our other scatter plot, just select the dots and press Ctrl V. And now we place the apples in our chart. And I can show you what this function does. It says 0.2 times the max value of the apple sales. So I can also change this to 0.1. And you see my apple is going down. The position of the apple, you can indicate them with this value. So you can change this value a little bit to place the apple on the right position in your chart. 
I'm going to set it back to 0 0.2 and you see it's always on the bottom. And I can change this value, for example, to 1100. And my apples are always on the bottom because of my function in here. Uh, we can change the format a little bit. We can remove the grid lines in our chart and we can remove the outline in our chart. And that's how you can use the scatter plot in two different ways. So that were two examples on how to use a scatter plot in Excel. I hope you learned a lot of it and that you can make your own scatter plot by now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and please give the video a like if you like my videos. Thank you for watching.